What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? What's up, Michael? What you doing? Uh, you know, uh, this whole podcast thing, this third person thing. Third, the third, the three, three people. Mike, yeah. we're here. We're here. We're back. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead it came back this week. Yes. Um. Well, it was a mid-season <laughs> premiere. Let's just. These are all look, look, guys. These are all true statements. All right, we're giving you nothing but facts right now. Yes, here's we are. Th- here's the thing, guys. Um. So I was just telling Mike that I don't want to do this anymore for the show. <laughs> I was just like, I'm being completely honest. I was just telling him, I like, I hate the show. I don't want to do it, to be honest. Yeah. And he says, man, just, just relax. All right. <laughs> Tell him to relax. Some, some, yeah. Something like that. So he, here's the thing, guys. Yeah. Look, we started out the season for this third season of Fear the Walking Dead. And we were like, look, we're going to give it one week. We gave it a week. We were like, "All right, we'll give it a second week," and then, and then, lo and behold, we made it to the the mid season finale. Yeah. So we're sitting here going, "All right, so watch this. Go in. It's two episodes, two hours long, whatever. Hour forty five. And man, it's Mikey, my, it was fucking brutal, bro. It's rough, man. It was a I chore. I mean, look, uh, look. This video. If you're watching this video, this day, the day it came out. We're sorry this video is late, but listen, it was just fucking brutal to get through. I don't know if you guys are even watching this because if you don't like the show, why the hell are you watching this? Not that nah. you don't like us, but you still like that show. So I don't know. I, I I'm still really on the fence. I'm not gonna lie. We're I'm on the fence about continuing this show. Let's see how this one goes. Well, I guess right. we'll we'll kind of yeah. I, maybe we can get a little feel about uh, you know from you guys watching if if you're that's enjoying what I'm the, looking sh- for. That, that's the what I'm show fishing not, for, Mikey. But... I'm fishing for that, right dude. Now. I mean, like I told you off off uh, uh, before we started recording, um, we're doing the 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 premiere, the mid season premiere. Let's at least give it um, another couple tries and see um, how you know how it works. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. All right, so it works. All right, enough enough tidy work. Let's let's get yeah. into it. So here's the thing, we, all right. Oh God, <laughs> you don't even want to discuss it. I I kind of <laughs> discussion's not the word, man. I want to. I just want to bash it. I just want to bash the shit out of it. Here we go. Yeah. Let me let me get the qualms right out of the way. All right, let's mm-hmm. out the gate. Let me just tell you what I didn't fucking like, and it's yeah. everything. The character development is just shit. The, the situations are just not appeal. They're just not interesting. I'm sorry. They're not mm-hmm. interesting to me. I'm getting kind of sick of the location. I think it's a really boring. It's not like a prison. It's not Woodbury. It's, it's just this boring, dusty ranch where we see literally we see three locations in. Mm-hmm. Maybe four. You know? We see the guns. We see Otto's house. We see the 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 kitchen, the eating tent. And we see the well now. It's like... No. Not only that, I'm just these characters are just not like Walker's boring now, mm-hmm. and then you bring in all these other guys. What's the guy's name? Mad Dog? Ma- uh, something like that. Yeah, Ca- something Mad like Cow? That. What's his name? Mad Dog? I don't know. One of the <laughs> one of the nation fighters, and he's oh, yeah. just like, dude. And then like, and and then everyone's doing, like everybody's doing things that don't make sense yet again, yet again. Yeah, you you have Troy who, out of no like, they it's so the episode starts out where they're going in right they're coming into the they're, they're because because Otto supposedly shot himself right yeah. to save to save the compound and lets the nation in on the land they're gonna all live there this and that yeah That's, which is that stupid al- that alone me. right that alone is dumb. Right, and I know I'm yeah. taking I'm taking up a lion's share of the talking right now, and you'll have your turn in a, in a minute here. But I gotta get, I gotta if we're gonna continue, I have to. Hey. Do this. So vent, vent on. So you, you have these guys coming in. Okay, great, and they all hate each other, but they're all supposed to be okay. They're all supposed to be fine. Um, what's his face? Um, Jake is sick. Okay, Br- Troy's brother is sick because he he was poisoned with anthrax, but he's coming back from that. You have all these characters, and then you have. Um, obviously Madison, Madison, they, why do they let Madison do whatever she wants? Everybody lets this woman do whatever, whenever she wants to do. Doesn't matter. 
She yeah. can walk into some place she's never been in and hit some guy with a shovel and then be fine. Oh, I know. That's she can kind of. Then she can go to the the the, the patriarch of that the, the establishment and just just talk to him like he like she fucking owns a place. Like yeah. she can fucking steal people's fucking hard earned fucking hoarded money or silver or whatever that was that Walker had and just give it to someone else. Right. Right. Then I mean. <laughs> All right. Look. Listen. Let's, let's okay. Let's let's. You know what? We're talking about this. Let's let's continue talking about the power of struggle at the ranch because I we, yeah. I can't get too far ahead because we got a lot of shit. So like yeah. I said, here's the thing. She finds out that the water table is diminishing and that they're not going to have water. They only have like six weeks left worth of water. Yep. Okay. Great. Great. So that's gonna that doesn't. But I don't know about you, Mikey, but it didn't mean anything to me. I didn't go. Oh sure. I, I didn't care. No, I didn't give a shit didn't either. A shit. I mean. They're constantly fighting. These these groups of people, like, I... The one thing is, I wouldn't trust them either. Like, I wouldn't trust either one of them. Like, each, like yeah. if I was on the nation, if I was part of the militia, I wouldn't trust either one of them because they're just, like... They're all assholes. They kill each other. I mean, listen, one of the things is it's it's very unbelievable that something like that would even occur. That, you know, by by placing the, the nation in with, you know, now the, the compound, the ranch... It just didn't make any sense to me. All it was is um, a push from the writers to get drama. And and it was not even good drama. No. And by adding, you know, listen, by adding the, the drought issues, all that, you know, that was only made for obviously one reason. And you know, and I know it is because they need to connect Salazar, who happens to be running a dam. Yeah, uh, so to, we get to we the got group him. And, and, and and his daughter again. And that was you know boring I mean? too, which was upsetting because Daniel's one of the better characters on the show. They were in there for five minutes. That's what I was saying. Like, listen, I like Salazar. I'm kind of glad Strand. Um, it's nice to see him. I guess. I, I mean, there was a couple been. little. There was a couple little moments there. Obviously, when he finds out that Travis is gone and all that stuff. When Strand, when Madison and. and you know, and I walk out, uh, bump into him. I don't really care either, but I'm just trying to find some kind of pros. I guess. Um, and Silver not liner. necessarily just. Um, Fuck it, man, bash it. It's fine. Just whatever. No, no. I mean, I <laughs> believe me. I have my, I have my, <laughs> I have my bashes. All right, talk. Uh, t- tell me, tell me what you didn't like about the struggle at the ranch. Okay. I just thought that. Yeah, I just thought that it was unbelievable that um, people were expected on either side that they would get along. The power struggle, the the struggle with who's in charge of the weapons. I just thought that it was yeah, so okay. easy for so, Walker um, to come in and be all like, "Oh, oh, because um, Otto's give da- me the key. I'm taking, I'm taking over the weapons." And and um, you have Madison playing kind of. Uh, I don't know if she's trying to be strategic or she's just on like Walker's dick uh, by saying, "Oh, just give him the key," kind of a thing. And um, she's trying to make everyone happy. Now, what about uh, listen? What about Troy? <laughs> That whole thing with Troy, dude, I'm like, dude, I was just like, that whole scene, I'm like, oh my God, this is so, dumb. I'm going to make a stand and, and you're going to stay with me, Nick, and this and that. That whole thing, he gets shot in the fucking hand, he fucking all this shit. Then, mm-hmm. then Nick, out of nowhere, decides, oh, by the way, I'm the one that killed your dad. And yeah. he does nothing about it. I know. I'm like, what? I, I, I knew it, Mikey. I swear, I fuck. I was like, he's going to tell him. I guarantee you, yeah. he's going to fucking tell him. And then they banish him, and then he fucking stabs the fucking guy from the nation. And, and what did what would Madison say? What did Madison say to Walker about that guy that happened to die? Exactly, nothing. You know, no. That's how. It was. Listen, um, the dumb. ranch. The, it was dumb. It dumb was dumb situations. Man. It seems like they 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 had an idea, and they obviously didn't deliver it with the writing and and and. Uh, you know how they just really overall shot this, and the acting wasn't was I'll wasn't get too it. terrific. I'll get Listen, it, how about how 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 stupid these play these these two groups, the nation and the ranch, hated each other like, you know, they were killing each other exactly. So now when Nick and the group, and I still don't, I'll get into this too. I don't really know how I feel about Nick, and if he's definitely on board with the militia thing. But when they were like on the hill and they were creeping down on the right. house where. Ophelia was and Mandog. Where three people fuck. were. I mean, yeah. yes, they had guns, but there's only three people. And they. But it was whatever, just like, were. all right, um, you know, Nick sees his sister. He just gets up and he walks over and starts helping. And then this guy, Mad Dog, that hates them so much, just decides, 
you know what? These these people are okay, and it's a big old fucking clusterfuck of <laughs> let's get together and let me put my automatic rifle down, and we'll all just go there. And, We're gonna dig and, a and hole. Start digging let's just water. dig a hole. So it's it just seemed a little unbelievable because they built up the hatred so much just for it to be eliminated over a few people with dousing rods. Wait, and but wait, to... but here's the funny thing though. Yeah, so so um, Alicia sees them with dousing rods looking for uh, water, right? Yeah. And then it wasn't even like it was Alicia and like six other um, compound people, and then like, like <laughs> and like it's just her. It's this one white bitch with a bunch of <laughs> with a bunch of fucking um, people from the nation, like kids digging dirt. And I'm sorry, Mikey, but the the way they were, did you notice that the one girl is the pile that they put out of the hole? She's digging in it and putting it back in a bucket. What are you doing? What the just, fuck? I know. Are you How come they're not? I know. I noticed that myself. D- oh, You're and then doing they see, like double the work. And then like yeah, and then I'm telling you, Nick. I will say Nick is not. Nick was not with the militia. He 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 was trying to make it so they didn't fucking cause some fucking problems. That's it. like he said I to guess. Alicia. Yeah. As I, if I have the gun, they don't have it. He's like, it's mm-hmm. better that I have it that they don't. But I mean, god damn it, man. Then you have. So you have two of the two the two people that are basically running the camp, which are Madison and Walker, who can mm. who are the only two people that can basically control these people. They leave for no reason Yo. in a huge truck for no reason. No, everything's fine. Don't yeah. don't mind us taking the truck that says put water here. Don't worry yeah. about it. They leave. <laughs> right? Then you have fucking Jake, who by the way, Jake just disappeared for the second half of the fucking premiere. Just di- he kind of disappeared. I thought more. I thought more people would come to the, um, not necessarily the aid. I guess you could say the aid of of Nick and Troy when they were getting shot up. Nobody. It, no one from the they militia no guns, or they no one no came. They took I everyone's guess. guns. Remember, that's but why they Jake, went to get his gun. His, you know, his brothers getting shot up at and nothing. You know, you go dude. try to stop them and dude. I don't know. You know what, dude? I, I mean. It was definitely hard. It was definitely hard to watch. Um, what was I going to say? Um, the 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 couple silver linings were um, the potential of of Madison, you know, and and uh, Daniel Salazar getting together again. And wait, it's going to be before, it's going to be interesting. That is good. Let's get to that in a second. But I I, I just I got it. I'm sorry, man. I got to go back to these. Look, they did. Hey, look, they put it out there. Okay, they yeah. put it out there. We're talking about it. All mm. right. This they they find out that each of them each each side is double dipping. Okay, that they're they're only supposed to get two gallons of water each. Okay, yeah. and they're all double dipping and they're all going around grabbing more water. Right. Alicia stops one of her people and she starts yelling, and this whole thing happens and it's like, yeah. what the hell? And then it's like you have three of the nation and I'm like I'm like this is the dumbest situation. And then she's like, we don't have any water. We're out of water. Like yeah. that's. Really? In you in so in your panic, you you give it up. That that's what you do. You fucking idiot. You're no leader. She's no leader. Get the fuck out of here. No, that but in thing, the end, man, dude. In the end, in the end, they know. did dig a hole, Mike. You're right. I'm sorry. No, no, but but when you said that Madison and Walker are supposed to be in charge and they left, not for nothing, the kids really didn't do a bad job. At the end of the episode, we find out, like I was I mean, saying, yeah. Look, I mean, come together, so that does show promise for them to get along from now on in the ranch, and for for the two for for each side to have their main leader now that Walker and, and Madison weren't there, be involved together, and now they all just put down their guns and start digging and coming together. I think that's that was probably a one of the most unbelievable parts besides just the uh, original. Um, uh, part of of the nation coming in in the first yeah. place um but you know listen i mean what would madison and and walker have done if they were still there and, and we you know saw you're right and that's with the water that's so really the point, man that's a, i'll tell you what you want it probably would it probably would have went down um worse it probably madison's so quick to fucking do like the indiana jones dude, how many times ta- swoop in dude and, how many times i counted it it's at least three times that she said, I can fix this. Let me fix this. I can. Fi-. She said it at least three times a show. She said it yeah. in every, each location she said it in. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I will I will grant you this. You want to talk about Silver Lining? There were a couple of things that I d- did kind of like was 
when Nick and Alicia are having that conversation, he's lighting up, he lights up a cigarette and shit and they're talking and they're talking about their mom and yeah. she, and she gets, she fucking, she goes for the nuts and is like, it must be hard being her favorite. And he's like, what the fuck? And then she's like, look, she's just, she's fucked up. Like Alicia's like, look, she's just, she's, she says she's gone. Like she's done. She's yeah. gone. She knows. And you got to think. And then I started thinking, we found out last, last, well, this season that she killed her father and they pro they, okay. So, so they, they present this, this character as someone who's doing what she can to her, but family. Now, meanwhile, mm -hmm. Mikey, her, she's completely fucked in the head. Like she's not, she's not all there and she, and, yeah. and, but they do it so low key that you're like, Oh no, she's just trying to help her family. But to me, I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. No, this bitch is out of her mind. Anyway, point is they, again, they let her do whatever the fuck they want. Let's move over to the bazaar. Okay. Let's yeah. get into this. So they're at the fucking bazaar, which first of all is just fucking. I thought that was kind of cool. Nice. In a way. Uh, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say nice try if you're the walking dead. But I, it, not we quite. Seen any, we haven't not really seen any quite. trading kind of outposting Man, like that I don't, before. I looked at that show. and I'm like, yeah, but it was like, it, you know what? You know what it reminded me dumb, of? It reminded right? me of um, episode eight when Ray was trying to get like her rations every day, and she went up to the fucking guy and she would give um, you know parts from the ship and stuff, and he would give her yeah. portions of food, kind of a thing. Yeah. I thought that was okay because it was. Um, it was something that we haven't seen and we spoke about this um, several times. Like, what are they going to do for this show to make it stand out? Or I don't think you can, but what are they going to make this, um, this show fear different? What are, what are they going to do? How are they going to make it make different? Yeah, gonna, yeah. From the gonna... original, you know what yeah, I mean? We yeah, spoke yeah. about this. Um, we saw that they try to do different Walker kills. They kind of show us different places, like from the first season with the boat and all this kind of stuff. And everybody always spoke about what would they do in the apocalypse and all that kind of stuff. So it's just very difficult. This was a small little part that I kind of thought was interesting when the girl was in the cage and she was saying, what do you got kind of a thing and all this kind of stuff. But how about the fact that what do they need money for? What is money going to do? So when they handed them coin or whatever that was, silver, silver like what the fuck? Yeah, he's got. I, I got mean, twelve more. I, I guess. More of these. I mean, what are you gonna do with it? You gonna what fucking, is it for? You gonna melt it down like silver bullets? Yeah, like, what the fuck I, are I don't. You doing? That's, yeah, that's why I don't necessarily think that <laughs> when, silver is <laughs> when he when he goes to make the deal and he opens it up and they're all empty and she just yeah. leaves them fucking empty for him mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's like, I'm like Madison, you dumb bitch, like. It all yeah. was like, oh, I get it. She's gonna go try. First of all, Strand, go fuck yourself. You, they okay. They were making him. <laughs> they were making him kind of cool. Like he was getting like he was not being such a, a fucking self self centered piece of shit. And yeah. then all of a sudden, he's back to being a piece of shit again. He's I'll get out. I'll get out. I don't like it. I don't like it. I never liked him when he was like that in the first season. In the yeah. second season, he became a little bit more tolerable, and like he became a real character. And mm -hmm. now he's back to this piece of shit. I can do everything on my own. My mom called me Victor because I always do. And I like, always win. I yeah. always win. And I'm like, I fucking hate you. I hate this Victor. I hate this character. I want him to get his fucking dick chopped off and shoved in his mouth. I just, I don't. <laughs> well, how about when he was hitting, kind of hitting on fucking Walker? When well, not first... only that, who's this handsome man? And then he's like, oh, see you later, beautiful. Like what? Oh, what? What is he fucking? Then he gets then he gets put outside. He like, wants a three way. I don't know, man. <laughs> the way the way they the way they set up people in debt is by putting them outside to die, basically in fed off I walkers. Guess maybe like, they have. Yeah, I guess that was kind of cool. Have a, a sentence that was kind of cool. But, but but here we go again. This and this is what really pissed me off. Mm -hmm. Okay, Strand gets taken. Okay, first of all, none, dude, none of it made sense. They put him in a cell together. They get caught. She hits the dude. Like, you can't fucking just keep your... keep your. What made you fucking like... Straight, like, why are you so in love with this fucking guy? I I thought she didn't like him for some reason. Like, I thought she was like... Like, because I thought he did... Oh, was that Daniel? I don't know. The point is, she sees him and she wants to help him. So, yeah. she... In, if I was Walker, I'd be like, you know what, white bitch? You're done. I'm done with you. Like, I'm fucking... I'm leaving. 
uh, find water on my own because not only did she not only did she fucking get them in trouble by fucking backing this fucking guy. Then Walker's out walking around by himself. Then he gets caught, but then he's fine. Then Strand gets taken and get gets put on the outside to fucking pay his debt. Then all of a sudden, so wait, so they're in that courtyard before it happens. This bitch just fucking walks in. First of all, who's that guy? I don't even know who that guy was. She just walks in and she's talking to him. Like she, she walks up the strand and like the guy, the guy in the right goes to step up to her and gets told no. Like what? Who is this bitch? She just came here yesterday and you're letting this bitch dictate uh, what you're going to. Meanwhile, they talk about, I don't know if that guy was that or not. I might've missed it or something, but the guy who mm. runs the bazaar, they fucking were like, oh, you're not going to want to mess with him. Yet this bitch is doing whatever she wants. Then on top, so gets them in trouble. Then on top of that, fucking takes his fucking, his trading shit, the the silver, the piece, the coins, whatever the fuck, decides mm. she's going to have strength. Like, if I was Walker, I would have just stabbed her in the fucking head. Yeah. Like, dude, well, think it, about it. I it's mean, too much for it. me, man. No, I understand, dude. There was a lot. I thought the same thing. Like when they were locking Strand outside and Madison was right there. When they were putting him on originally when he was chained up in that little courtyard, I think she was right there. And uh, believe me, I, I, felt, I felt the same it's way. Much, it it is too much. It it's is not. Much. But here's the thing. And they get. They didn't get. And they didn't get anything um, uh, done Out to them they, when they yeah. hit the guys. With right. a shovel in the first place to help Strand escape. Dude, Walker didn't do shit. He was just like, oh, fuck me. Like, yeah, I don't know. It, I don't that's know. that's here's the problem, man. It's 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 not so much the setting or what they're trying to do. It's that the characters are not compelling. The characters mm-hmm. have always, from day one, made the dumbest decisions. Like, and at this point, it's not even funny anymore. Like, it's not even like they make up a decision and then they make up for it like a normal person. Dude, it's just they just have not learned. I am not finding this show compelling. I am tired of the setting. Like I said, they they <sighs> barely showed anything with walkers. Barely. It's called Fear the Walking Dead, not Fear Humanity. Fear fellow man. I, like, I think that's I think that's what both shows are yes, having but, issues with. But but you have to understand the Walking Dead. <clears throat> there's always always that underlying. Well, they're right outside the gate. With mm-hmm. this, this, yes, I guess they are. But dude, it, it, I don't. Damn, I just dude, can't. They're struggling. Man. They're, they're really, can't. they're struggling know, with what they're gonna do. I think that the the direction. What would, let me ask you this: What would happen if this show was canceled? Nothing. Absolutely, it'd be great. It'd be fucking great. But you don't think that that would feel like? Listen, since The Walking Dead has appeared, it's been a gold mine. This show is even. This show even captures viewers just because of The Walking Dead. Now, they, they're they're so used. Uh, they still get a lot of viewers. I mean, if if um. Uh, AMC, The Walking Dead, know nothing but winning when it comes to these this uh, series and uh, The Walking Dead franchise. Now they have nothing but gold medals. They have nothing but gold stars on their on their wall uh, with this. Now that's going to be a big defeat in the eyes of the show and AMC. I think um, if this if this show doesn't succeed or or go much go on for much longer. Um, so I don't know. I think that they would rather put out shit and get viewers than show that um, one of their ideas didn't work out. Let me ask you this. I mean, I, I, yeah, whatever. I, I guess. I, I, I guess I agree with that. Look, they're going <laughs> to no, do what they have to do. But, but let me ask you this, though. Do, does, do these two shows seem like they're related to you? Do they even seem like they're in the same friggin'? No, universe? no. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, um, walking I'm not talking far... about the, But I'm not talking about the caliber of the show. I'm talking about the actual universe where they're at. It does not feel the same. Now, granted, they're in two different... But shouldn't... Shouldn't like two shows that are take place in the same universe essentially around? Well, I mean, we we jumped a little bit. We're a little bit of ahead in in The Walking Dead, but but yeah. essentially, shouldn't they feel like? You know what I mean? Like it's just no. I I understand. It doesn't. Understand. It, just it doesn't, doesn't feel. It doesn't necessarily feel the same. Just because, just the caliber of the acting. Number one, I think is, and the characters. Look, uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna say comparable. I've always said this, and I'll say it again. The 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 actors and actresses in this show are they're 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 good actors. I I'm not gonna take that away from them. I enjoy 
I, uh, but I but know. it's what they're given to work with. Ophelia. Now, Ophelia is all like, I know we said this in the beginning, you know, in the last, in the first half, but like, mm-hmm. like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, come, like, I don't know. She, she hands that little girl the cup of water trying to be, you know, I just, man, I just sympathetic to a young girl and she, but, the little girl slaps the fucking cup out of her hand. Dude, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to tell you something. You want to know what makes this even worse for me? I've been watching, mm-hmm. I've been binge watching Fargo. All right. On Hulu. Okay. What a fucking fantastic show. Like, the fucking difference, man, is like that fucking show. I'm in the second season now. There's three seasons and the soon to be four. I'm in the second season now. I'm like halfway through the second season. It's even better than the first season. And that show is just, it blows your fucking mind. It's so good. Well, I'm, we're watching Preacher. Now, Preacher's a little slow, but even Preacher's better than this show. I mean, um, American Gods. Like, there's just so much other yeah. great tv we just wrapped you know game of thrones like there's Dude, just it's a, so, it's a fucking cash there's hole. so much it's a cash hole you know but th- i it's, mean I'm, that's I, what I'm it's in, all about i want to watch something that fucking is just really good and it's like i i i, I I'm, I'm i'm watching like fargo and then i gotta go and watch this shit and i'm like <laughs> fuck me man <laughs> I, I, and and I, and look and it was it was it was it was it was it was, it was tough. I don't want to wa- I don't want to make a fucking episode of of third person podcast with a mm. show that I it, that I'm not enjoying because I don't want to come on here and badmouth shit. I yeah. look I understand look I I absolutely get the hard work and the blood sweat and tears that goes into making a show even like Fear. I get mm. that. I can't take that away from them. You know. Yeah. But it's just something that fucking... we'll, it's something that we'll have to dis- discuss together off camera. And look, we'll do, we'll give it another week. Like like you said, it might pick up. I don't know why the show picks up somewhere after the after premieres. It picks up after like in like the third episode. It picks up for like two yeah. or three episodes, and then it just goes shit again. I well, don't know, man. I don't know either. But like I said in the you know in the beginning of the episode of the of of this show. Um, you know, you guys that are watching, let us know what you feel. Let us know um, yeah. your thoughts about. Yeah, please, like, about the chi- I know. And, yeah, I know what you, you will. Think we but should do. I mean, chime in if you guys want us to stop doing it because, like, you don't want to hear us bull- like bitch about it. Then great. If you want to hear us bitch about it, then by all means, because I don't, I don't want to do that, but mm-hmm. maybe I will. I don't know. I, I look. It is fun. To, it is fun to vent, though. You know, we talk. We talk so well about other things, but you know. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, like Mike said, just uh, we're gonna wrap this up now. So just go ahead yeah. and uh, you know give give us those comments. Let us know if you're even watching this or not because you know it, it you know it's important. We we want to, we're doing this because we want to have a conversation with you guys. So anyway, that's our two cents. That's what we feel. Mikey, I apologize to you for taking up like hey. I said the lion's share of talking. I just had to get that's off my okay. chest. Uh, so I apologize to you. I apologize. I, everyone I enjoyed you. the vent. That's okay. you know yeah. So dude, listen. Bad. I mean, I felt I felt the same way. There were a lot of things. There were a couple things here and there. Um, that I didn't think were the worst. Like I told you, like I said, the bazaar I thought was okay. I kind of thought it was interesting at the end with the group, the ranch and the nation coming together, digging that. And I mean, but let's, let's, you know, let's give it another try and, yeah. and um, you know, not to, not to keep saying it, but just let us know what you guys think. Obviously at, at third person pod um, on, on the comment section of this video, let us know on our Facebook page where you can reach us third person pod and our Instagram um, I got some cool Walking Dead things that I'm going to start posting on the Instagram, too. I got some cool pictures I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, but, yeah, definitely check us out. Third Person Pod on all the social medias. And don't forget iTunes as well. Uh, yeah, that's that's going to do it. Um, I, I Again, I, I'll um, I'll plug uh, RetroSquat.com. Uh, we just hit 25 episodes on there. If you want to go check it out, we're getting a little bit of steam. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. Uh, we now have a YouTube channel. Which, if you go to our Instagram or if you go to RetroSquat.com, you can get the link to our YouTube channel there. You know what? Um, I'm actually... It's going to be in the in the description below, too, actually. I should remember that. Uh, but, yeah, go check out... Uh, so, we started making video for our podcast over there. It's really cool. It looks like it's uh, it's off of an old VHS. Um, it's pretty interesting. And it's just, you know, you, you get to see us fuck, just uh, sit, sit at our mics and just talk about it. It's really nothing too crazy just yet. Uh, but we've got some plans over there. So RetroSquat.com, go check out our new YouTube channel and listen to the podcast if you listen to that. If you're into some you know, retro stuff where we like to mash up old properties to see if we can make something new, it's pretty fun. Uh, tell someone about it. It's really cool. It's really interesting. Yes. 
And um, if you guys uh, are into comics, as always, you know, you can check out comicblitz.com and you can use promo code third person pod, get yourself uh, your first three months of comics for free. Yep. Um, I'm sorry, three dollars gets you, sorry, not free, three months, three dollars, <laughs> a dollar a month, three dollars gets you a full uh, unlimited subscription for the first three months of that. So go check yes. that out, uh, comicblitz.com, third person pod is the promo code, get yourself some comics, they're adding more and more comics every day. Um, we're seeing all the emails and tweets and stuff on Instagram. It's pretty cool stuff. So they're growing pretty yep. big. Good for them. Good for us. Good for everybody. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, once again, sorry for the ranting. I'm really, I apologize, but I kind of don't apologize because I had to say it if it's going to get me through watching this show. Anyway, I guess we'll see you next time um, <laughs> on Third Person for uh, Fear the Walking Dead, the next episode. So uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you then. Later. Peace.